Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. Let's go! How you doing guys? Hi. This is going to be our complete Arrow collection. I don't have a ton of them, but I have a good amount. Arrow is literally my favorite company, but I'm really with everything i'm super choosy on what i buy and i always try to find them at a decent price unless it's something i really really want we're going to start off with the arrow academies that i have i only have four of them but the first one i have is smash palace that's the last one i found yeah i'm like you got another one i actually like this one i enjoyed it it was a good fun watch it's not great but it's all right i haven't seen it this one is uh, Inferno. Haven't seen this one yet, but I ha I've heard mediocre things about it, but I still want to check it out. Then I have The Witches. I actually really like this one. This one was really good. I would say, check it out. I can't remember if I watched it or not. Yeah. This one, again, I've heard good things. This is a uh, Arrow Academy limited edition. This has uh, Jack Lemmon, Shirley McLean, uh, McLean in it, and it is The Apartment. It's a nice big one, but I really enjoy this one. You know, the regular limited editions with the hard boxes. One of the things that Arrow really does really well. Their boxes. Yeah, and that's all the uh, uh, Arrow Academies I have. Okay, that's it. And now I'm going to show <laughs> all my Arrows with without slip covers. And I have Season of the Witch. I love this movie. I see it all the time when I was a kid. One of my favorite arrows in my collection. I, I should probably watch that. I really, really enjoy that one. Oh, uh, I enjoyed this one. And I enjoyed this one as well. And it is the stuff. That jingles in my head. Oh, yeah. If you've seen it, you know it. <laughs> Haven't watched this one yet. And it is The Swinging Cheerleaders. But I'm interested. Why I have it. <laughs> Haven't seen this one yet. And this is the She Devils on Wheels. Oh. This one is really good. I'm not sure what Marie thought of it. I liked it. It was interesting. And it is The Slayer. The Slayer. But I enjoyed that one. I like the name. And the artwork is sick. I like This that one. one I really, really like. I like both cuts of the film. And this one was an Extreme featurette. I see what you did there. Extreme featurette um, Review? recommendation. And it is Scalpel. Really, really good. I highly, highly recommend that film. Mm. And I have Stormy Monday. This one was meh, middle of the road, but I still liked it. Then Lucio Fulci's. The Black Cat. This one was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. Then, uh, Blind Woman's Curse. Still haven't watched it. Still sealed. Brain Damage. Still haven't watched it. Still sealed, but heard a lot of good things about that one. Mm -hmm. Bloody Birthday. I have seen this film because I used to have the Severn release, but I upgraded to the Arrow because I like Arrow more. So, but very enjoyable film. I haven't seen it. This one I have not seen, but I heard it's a great Thanksgiving film, and it is Blood Rage. Mm. I love this film, and I had to upgrade this, but I haven't seen this release yet. This is a Mario Bava film. This is Blood and Black Lace. But I used to have it on DVD. Ooh. Marie did not like this film. I've seen this one. And I've never seen it yet. It's not for little eyes. No. And it is The Beast. This is how Marie was when she was watching it the whole time. Uh, but, yeah. The Beast. Mm. This one I really enjoyed. I think Marie enjoyed we it as well. We keep it because... It's interesting. Did you concept. like this one? You don't see a lot of those. Yes, the ending was good. Yeah, I really like this one. Yes. And it is The Woman. Mm. Great revenge film. Yes. 
I, I would watch that one again. This one is another recommendation. Yeah, from Extreme Featurette, and it is The Wind. And I'm sorry, I haven't seen it yet. Neither have I. I'm sorry. This one is a Sergio Martino film that I really want to see, and it has a long title. And it is, Your Vice is an Unlocked Room, and Only I Have the Key. Wow. But. That's longer than... Don't be a menace to society. We'll drink a juice in the hood. Yeah, but I really want to check that one out. <clears throat> this is another fantastic film that I had to upgrade. And I haven't seen this version yet. And it is The Witch Who Came From the Sea. But I really, really, really enjoy this film. So that was a definite upgrade. This one, another Extine featurette recommendation. Oh, yeah. And it is Trapped Alive. Great artwork. Great artwork. She said this one was good and Chill Factor was complete trash. So I only bought... I think Chill Factor was the one with the icicle and the helmet. Yeah. That one I heard was garbage. Good artwork though. Yeah. Uh, this one I really liked. Seen it. And Marie was like, me. And it was Kalobos. With some good kills in there if you like kills. Yeah. But I really enjoyed that one. I liked it okay. This one I'm um, excited to see. Haven't watched it yet. And this is the... The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Seven days. And this one, haven't seen yet. Oh, this boy. Is strip nude for your killer. Hold on before you slash me. This is one that Marie liked. Oh, this is pretty good. I like this one as well. I wouldn't want to see them in my yard, but And yeah. this is Slugs. Another one I have not seen yet, and it is scared stiff mm. you have ticks you gotta have slugs <laughs> this is a Hersha Gordon uh, Lewis film and it is the gruesome twosome this one was pretty good I enjoyed this one I still gotta not, see that one not a lot of his films I enjoy that's why I don't have the big box set but some of his mm. single ones I'll pick them up as I find them oh this one he recommended me he did not steer me wrong this time this is underrated, and it is amazing. Yeah. If you have not seen this film, I would say highly, highly check this movie out. But this movie is fantastic. And Great is, ending. I don't want to say anything else. It is Flowers in the Attic. But it, it's got a few sad scenes. It involves children. Yeah, but it is... I will say that. So, so, so good. Oh, it, I really... It gets the heart, too. Yeah. It kept me watching. This is one that uh, I bought recently, and I haven't watched it yet. This is Inferno of Torture. It sounds delightful. Yeah, it's pretty much the same director as Blind Woman's Curse. So I wanted to check it out. Mm. Oh, matching artwork. Yeah, this one is similar to The Beast. Yeah. And it is Immortal Tales. And the spines are both the same. Yeah, as you can see. The, these are both by the same director. It's pretty much some crazy, crazy stuff that goes on. This one's actually better than The Beast, though. But they're still on the same adult subject if you will yeah this one is the initiation i've seen this film it's pretty good but i have not seen the arrow edition yet this one i have seen and this one was okay middle of the road and that is higher to kill this one i really want to see have not Same. seen it yet but i am really really intrigued about it Great things. Yeah. We heard about it. And it is Edge of the Axe. Mm -hmm. But I've heard great, great things about it. This one I watched and I really enjoyed. And it is Eaten Alive. This has um, Robert England in it. It's pretty, pretty good. I really enjoyed that Sounds one. Sounds good. I would yeah. be interested just for that actor. This one I watched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one I liked it. Marie mm -hmm. didn't care for it that much. Mm -hmm. And it is Don't Torture a Duckling. I really, really enjoyed that one. Duckling meaning young, meaning yeah. kids. Same um, director that did Edge of the Axe. This is pretty much Jose Larraz, and it is Deadly Manor. So I wanted to pick that one up. This one I haven't seen as well. This is a Joe D'Amato film, and anything that Joe D'Amato does, I pick up because Marie loves Beyond the Darkness. And so, you have to pick this one up. And this is Death Smiles on a Murderer. 
I almost threw up. I had to pause the movie twice. And then the next one is uh, Death Walks in High Heels. Why do you have to say that title's name? It gives me the cringes. And then one that goes with that one is Death Walks at Midnight. I haven't seen either one of those yet. I've seen this one. Pray for death. And Marie bought me this one. This is Pray for Death. Pray for death. Pray for death. <laughs> That's all I hear. Is this the other matching one? No, the other matching one for this one is somewhere in the pile. Oh. No, I already showed it. And this is The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. I haven't watched that one yet. This is a good movie. I haven't watched the Arrow Edition yet. But it is The Mutilator. Mm. But that sounds it's, like a, it's a really good that. film. This is another really good film, but again, I haven't watched the Arrow edition yet. What the? the Arrow. No, not in my house. And it is Madhouse. This is like the Babadook. Yeah, it's a really, really good film. Okay. This is actually really good. One of the only films with this thing, this character that I will watch, that I will tolerate. Yeah, this, I haven't seen this edition, but... I have seen the film many times. Me too. And it is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I watched it, Stephen King. Yeah. That broke me. Hated clowns the rest of my life. This one I really want to check out, and it is Killer Nun. Seen this one, and it is JD's Revenge. This one was pretty good. I actually enjoyed this one. I like revenge films. Oh, this one I've seen three times already. That's all the non-slipcover editions. Then we have... Slip, 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 slip. Yeah, slipped editions. And we have Mallrats. This has all five cuts. I so love Mallrats. This was a must-buy. So much fun. Highly quotable. Yep. Ridiculous. This one I have not seen yet, but I'm really intrigued on it. And it is Versus. I love this one. This is one that I had to have. And the artwork on this is like so popping. I, popping. I don't know if it does the video justice, but it is an awesome film. Yeah, and it is the stylist. You don't see a lot of horror films with a female role as an actress with this kind of content. Yeah, with a great female director as well. Yeah. Uh, next movie I've seen plenty. She cuts more than the hair. I've seen this movie plenty of times, but I haven't seen the Arrow edition yet, and it is Sixteen Candles. I think I've seen Sixteen Candles as well. I love Sixteen Candles. I've seen the original, uh, not the original, I've seen the remake of this film, but I've never seen all three of the Takashi Miike films, and it is One Missed Call trilogy. So is there three missed calls? There's three missed calls. They called three times and nobody answered. This one was a Films at Home recommendation, and I had mm. to pick it up. And it is A Cold Night of Day. And the slip is really cool. Yeah, the slip is, it's a die-cut slip. Yeah, we saw it in a video. This movie I used to have on CED. What? CED, Compa uh, Capacitus Electronic Disc. And I love this film, and it's a really underrated Al Pacino film. I was thinking Certified Educator Degree. No. And it is cruising. For bruising. Oh, yeah. Cruising for bruising. My dad used to say that to me all the time. And that's all the slip covers I have. Now, I have three steel books. Mm -hmm. I have Society. I really enjoy it's this film. It's a good film. movie. Just watch out for the ending. Yeah, I enjoy that film. Yeah, it's just good. About fitting in. And then I have Weird Science. Again, fantastic movie. I haven't I, seen it. I really, really love that movie. Are you going to get the Blu-ray to go next? <laughs> Maybe. Because I haven't seen it yet. No. This next one I wanted. And this is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Look at that artwork, though. I know. It's great. great artwork. It's Elvira. She's cool. And that's all the steel books I have. Now I have uh, limited edition box sets. And I have The Hills Have Eyes. And like I said, these are all limited edition box sets that it comes... With the movie, with a poster, and with a book. Mm -hmm. But they all come in nice, hard boxes. Their boxes but, are the best. Yeah, but I have that one. Best in the business. Then I have... That I think. Beyond the Door. Haven't seen it yet. As you can see, it's still sealed. Mm. This one I really enjoyed. 
I liked it. It's a black and white. Yep. Don't and get it, excited. It is bloodbath. For those of you that like black and white. Yeah. Bloodbath. Where's the bloodbath? I love this movie. And it is The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I still need to see it. This next one is... Yeah, this one is... Meh. Kind of a mystery. Yeah. This is... Yeah. It's a giallo. Mm -hmm. And it is Cat of Nine Tails. It'd be cool if it was called Bunny of Nine Tails. This is my favorite Dario Argento film of all time. And it is Deep Red. I think I've seen it. Yeah, I, no, I don't think you have. Oh, I saw Alice, Sweet Alice. That's yeah, the one. but I really, really love this okay. film. This was the first limited edition Arrow I ever bought. This is... Oh, amazing. This is my favorite limited edition in my collection. Mine as well. And it took me a while to find one of these for, for somebody to sell one. This is a good Guillermo del Toro film, and it is Crimson Peak. I want to watch this right now. Yeah, I love Hold this on. movie. Hold on, can we pause the movie? No. I mean, can we pause, pause this video? No, but okay. this is a great gothic love story. I, I love it. can't say enough about it. If you've never seen that film, I would say highly check it out. If we didn't have so many movies on the wall, I would love to frame that poster in there. Yeah. Next one is Legend. Recently watched this one, loved it. Yeah. Unicorns I, and uh, Fantasy. Yeah, I watched this a long time ago, and we watched it recently when we got this, and... It holds up. It still holds up. For me, yes. This one, I was excited when they were announcing this one. Oh, I, yes. I saw this a long time ago when I was a kid, and I never saw it again, and it is Phantom of the Mall. Is Eric's. there a reason why you haven't seen it again? Because I just got it. I thought you were avoiding it. But, no. uh, shopping, it's the holiday season, so uh, Phantom of the Mall, it's considered Christmas to me. Yeah. So, I'm going to watch it. Soon. I think it's Christmas. I don't know. You can. Next one is Flash Gordon. This is the 4K uh, box set of Flash Gordon. Some of the other box sets were 4K. I didn't even mention it. And then we have The Hills Have Eyes, Part 2. And that's all the limited editions I have. Then I have three box sets. What was that? Three. I thought you were going three. And because uh, I like Jose Loraz, like I said, he did Edge of the Axe and Deadly Man. None of those that I've seen, but I've seen actually two of these films before, but I haven't watched them again in this Arrow set. And it is uh, the Blood Hunger films by Jose Loraz. This is a big box with three movies in it. And it has uh, Whirlpool. Uh, Coming of Fire and Vampires. Vampires has me sold. Yeah. Blood Hunger. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But really, really happy for that one. Then. I still haven't watched it. I've one. seen all three. I've seen all of these films, and I really enjoy them. I'll watch them one day. And this is the Ringu collection that has all three in them. But really, really happy for that one. If you like the Ring movies, you might like the Japanese originals. All right. And then the last one I have, this one I have not seen, but I was really, really excited to get it. And this is the Female Prisoner Scorpion Complete Collection. This thing is still sealed as well. I have the little opening arrow yet. boxes. Yeah, the little tiny ones. This has a... Uh, so cute. Uh, female Prisoner 701 Scorpion, Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41, Female Prisoner Scorpion Be Stable, and Female Prisoner Scorpion 701 Grudge Song. You can see right there. Uh, really, really happy for that one. Hopefully one day I can check it out. But that is all the arrows that I have. Like I said, I don't have a ton of them. I think all together, title for title, it came out to like 75. But I don't hey, have... that's a, Bambi. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a ton. Like I said, there's a ton. Like I said, because Arrow is my favorite company. There's a lot of them that I want. But I only buy them in the U.S. I try to buy them around the $20 price point. And I try not to blind buy them unless... I can find them around the $15 point. So a lot of times 
With Arrow, the only time they really have good sales is through MVD. Mm -hmm. That's when you can find them for around the $15 price point. And then when that happens, I go nuts and I just buy a ton of them. But besides that, I don't buy them from the UK or from Zavi because a lot of them are region two. And I don't have a region free player. You so. just mentioned MVD and I'm going through my head. I'm like, are they coming out with Jack Frost? Yes, they are. Yeah, I'm excited about that title. But, um... <laughs> Um, like I said, I try to pick them up little by little. If I had a region free player, I'd probably have triple the amount that I have right now. And where would you put them? I don't know. <laughs> but I probably would. Yeah. But if you like this video, please hit the like button. I love this movie. If you didn't like it, videos before and after. If uh, you want to comment down below about any of these, let us know some of the ones that we haven't seen. You know, which ones do you recommend? Which ones would you uh, tell us to watch first? You know, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Um, Seriously. If you want to subscribe to us, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll have more videos for you. Yeah. But until next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Go watch an arrow video. Yeah. Go watch Crimson Peak.